a Honda Easy Start engine, same as an Easy, proper HR173. Uh, the cord is about to go, so I've got some on the way from Amazon. Three mil stuff I've ordered. All you need is a ten mil socket. Move some of these off. Simple like that, and that just unhooks underneath there, like that. Right now, it's off. You want to go clockwise, got a T25 star bit, keep running clockwise, which is unusual, but that's the way it is. It goes clockwise to undo. Careful when you take it off because it's um, there's a spring there, and obviously um, that can go pinging out anywhere. Careful as you take it out because it's um, it's a coil, flexi steel coil, and that springs like that everywhere. Next stage, pull all your cord off, and then. Um, you want to just sort of measure it out onto your new cord, measure what you need, and um, pull your cord out from there all the way through like that. Watch these little cam things, you don't lose them as well. See them they actually come off, they do, see, like that. All right. I ordered some um, pull cord from Amazon, and that suits. That's fact, it's good because it suits me chainsaw, strimmer, mower, or generator. Universal. I mean, you can probably get 3.5. The stuff I've got off, I mean, it looks pretty similar to that. That might be 3.5, but I mean, it's only 0.5 a mil. This is Oregon stuff, so it should be fairly good. So all I'm going to do is pull that off the coil. So that was about £7.50, but that would do for me chainsaws and everything else. But just pull that off the coil. Uh, get your old rope, lay it alongside, and then cut off what you need. Obviously just allow either end a little bit more for a not either end. I want the end fraying just light up a lighter and just melt the end over and that stops the actual string from fraying okay what we have to do now so you've got your coiled spring a bit like a clock that part there you see there hooks into there and then you have to carefully Right, hold this in here, right. carefully just keep winding this in, like that, let's see, right. keep winding it in, like that, so you've virtually got the whole lot in there in the end, so keep going. Okay, what we have to do now, so you've got your coiled spring, a bit like a clock. That part there, you see there, hooks into there. And then you have to carefully, right, hold this in here, right, carefully just keep winding this in, like that, let's see. Right. Keep winding it in like that. So you've virtually got the whole lot in there in the end. So keep 
keep going. Right, next stage, once the that's all wound in there neatly, you can see that, poke your, your new string through, tie a little knot on there, see, through there, and obviously that, right, has then got to go anti-clockwise, just keep winding it around. Like so, poke that end through there, and obviously that's gonna you're gonna put the handle on the end of that end. Quite like that. And then that coming. Then that bit there. See the little spring that side that keep that taut as you can that has got to, when you push that in that's got to sit in there like that so as you can see it that's a bit you need about five pairs of hands right you see the little thing there sit there right then that you can see through the centre, you can see it. Right, hold on, pull the rope around. Like so. Right, just, I'll try and hold it on there and, and sort of demo it. See, and as you go like that, it's going to come flinging back. But obviously, now that's all in place. Just keep the sort of tension on that. Put your spring back in. Put your little cam levers back in. Like so. And then that, it's got to go. Them bits have got to sit in there, I think, like that. Right. That's quite a lot of tension on that. That's good, all right. That's it. You'll find it, as it sits like that, you can see that sits in there, so I've pushed that tension in there. And this is the time when you need to get the, hold that all down. I mean, if you've got someone else to help you, hold it all very well and good. And then what you need to do now is obviously get your, um, it's anti-clockwise doing up it's in reverse of what it normally is so anti-clockwise so just keep going until that's all the way down just give you a demo still got the handle to put on that would just go through there like that and you can put a couple of knots in there if you want one two like that right here we go just prove it works see and that all pulls back in again and you can bolt that on job done don't over tighten this star bit though because it can restrict it sometimes um, that's it job done one little amendment when you put put that in to link the spring in where it should go in the center wind as much rope as you can like that and obviously when you pull it out then that will pull that all the way back in prior to that I didn't I left it too slack so wind as much in as you can round the coil first and then put that in